welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Jamie Hutton, Chief Technology Officer at Quantexa, a scale-up leveraging artificial intelligence and big data analytics in the fight against financial crime. Jamie, thanks so much for joining me today. So what do you think are the biggest challenges facing banks when it comes to addressing things like money laundering, terrorist financing, insider trading, you know, the whole gamut? So I think, Joy, there are two major challenges. Uh, the first one is that banks are struggling with a sea of data, and they're drowning in that. Um, across the whole enterprise, they're really struggling to piece it together into a holistic picture. And secondly, uh, the criminals are getting smarter. Uh, essentially, rather than using simple uh, methods for money laundering, they're arranging complex criminal webs of companies uh, using complex tools such as trade finance um, and capital markets uh, to conduct their activity. And they're hiding in those really complex products. Mm -hmm. So banks have traditionally focused on to de detection using uh, transactions. But what they really need to be looking at is those complex networks and webs of, of activity. Okay, so how does Quantexa use artificial intelligence, AI, to really sort of make those connections between uh, the people and their sort of digital footprint in that sense? Sure. So the first thing we do is a process that we call entity resolution. This is about understanding who the people are and who the businesses are within all of the data across the whole enterprise and including external data. The second thing that we do is we then understand the relationships between those people. So who knows each other? Which businesses are related to each other and what corporate hierarchies are there? And thirdly, we use that context to essentially do better analytics. So we use the context of the entities and of the networks to drive better decisions. Okay, uh, and what kind of benefits are banks seeing from this approach? So the Quantexa platform has been deployed as the core AML detection engine in a number of complex areas, such as trade finance AML and markets AML, where traditionally I would say success has been very limited. And we're replacing systems that have been running at 100% false positive rates, literally, um, and we're replacing them with an engine that is, is finding new criminal activity at a very, very good accuracy rate. Secondly, we're also finding things that systems just could not find before. We're uncovering activity that really is unable to be found by other traditional systems. And this includes complex terrorism cases and even things like human trafficking um, and, and modern day slavery. Okay, and my last question is really about, you know, how can banks really build that culture of compliance? Yeah, and I wonder if the word compliance is almost the wrong word because compliance implies rules. And really what you want to be able to do is actually engender a really good um, financial crime prevention uh, across the organization. And that has to go from top to bottom. Everyone needs to be um, wanting to stop criminal activity. And are you seeing that? You know, are the banks really taking that message on board? I believe they are. I think there was a time when compliance was a tick box exercise, but banks are realizing that there's no longer the ability to just treat it as such. And they really are putting in systems and platforms like ours to stop and prevent actual criminal activity. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining the Tech Talk video series, Jamie. Thank you very much for having me.